Tonight on our series PTSD the battle within we are tracking the impact it has on people here in the Miami Valley. Health leaders want to remind the community it is not too late to find hope. That's the message from Midwest Clinical Research. The center is constantly pushing to find solutions for those in need, developing new medications or finding new uses for already existing drugs. As 2 News Today anchor Zach Pitts shows us, researchers say in order to make progress, those suffering must be willing to take the first step toward help. Some memories never go away. Horrific sights seen by veterans, the frightening moments for those who experienced the Oregon District shooting, years of isolation brought on by the pandemic. The cause of post-traumatic stress disorder takes on many forms. There's a lot of different variables, but uh, needless to say, like, we're trying to make a difference because we know that research can change people's lives. Midwest Clinical Research Center in Dayton performs research studies where volunteers work with scientists to identify and develop new ways to treat disorders like PTSD. That includes collecting data that can lead to new medications or finding new uses for drugs already on the market. Christopher Kuhn says volunteers play a vital role in that process, helping not only themselves but countless others by joining studies. I think the more that I'm out there in the community and engaging folks um, about the dire need for treatment, increased treatments, um, interventions to help those that are really struggling with post-traumatic stress, I think it's important that when I'm out on out canvassing, uh, you know, going either Cincinnati, Dayton, Columbus, and I'm reaching out that they're that they're hearing the message and that there is another option available um, that they can seek out to try and figure out what's going on with their mental health. Experts say the people suffering from post-traumatic stress are more susceptible to depression, bipolar disorder, and increased anxiety. Many have turned to opioids, compounding the epidemic. Those in charge of recruitment for studies are working to get ahead of those drugs, meeting people right where they are when they've run out of options. They are in trouble. They want to help. They want help. If, if even one person makes, you know, can make a difference by becoming in a participant in one of our studies then and they qualify then you know change can happen. Leaders say one of the biggest challenges they face each day is breaking the stigma around research which in some cases hinders people from sharing their struggle. Being able to trust that somebody's going to listen to you believe you when you say that there's something wrong even though there's no physical symptoms um, to treat someone that has something wrong, something broken in your in your mind and your spirit with the same level of, of persuasiveness and, and 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 activity that you would if they had a broken leg. Leaders with Midwest Clinical Research say that they are working hard to reduce the stigma surrounding research and that they're here to offer a different alternative to those who are typically resistant to treatment. The program allows participants to see a physician at no cost. In fact, those willing to participate in a research study are actually compensated for their time. A study on PTSD is actually taking place right now. We've linked all that information to enroll on our website, WDTN.com. Just click on this story. Zach Pitts, 2 News, working for you. To see all of our stories on the impact of PTSD on the Miami Valley, just go to WDTN.com. Click on Mental Health. You will find that under the News tab.